All right, that 14 to 17 minute time frame was actually for mini muffins. That's why it was extended. So we, these have actually been in here uh, 25 minutes now, and they are really nicely domed. We're gonna do our test. I'm gonna go in the center of the muffin, tilt to the side to make a bigger opening, and then pull out. And what I want to see is mm, not getting any crumbs this time, so we know they're done. It's hard to focus. I'm going to check one in the middle of the pan next. The middle of the pan is also going to bake last, just like the middle of the muffin. So we'll check our middle of the pan to make sure these middle guys, and if there's a bigger muffin, check that one too that was a little overfilled. So if we come out, I have the tiniest. You almost can't even see it. There's just the tiniest crumbs. I don't think we can focus on the foam, but clinging to the toothpick. Yeah, you can't really see, but they're done. The finger press test in the center is not really applicable for this type of recipe. That sometimes is a lie. Um, it'll, it'll not feel wet, but it actually is in the center or not quite finished cooking. Um, so you want to use the toothpick. Coming out clean is always fine. A couple crumbs and I I can see there's some tiny, tiny crumbs clinging to, just can't focus on it. Um, there, you can maybe see it in rotation. These are perfect. So that took about 25 minutes total because these are regular sized muffins. I was initially thinking the timing for mini muffins. So the proof was in the pudding, as we say. The proof was in the test. So the test, you just keep baking them until they pass the test. So I'm gonna let these cool. And then the next thing we'll do um, in our next session is the cream cheese frosting and we'll talk about how to measure uh, soft fats like butter, uh, Crisco, margarine, things like that. Have a great day. It smells amazing in here.